Oh my god, I have two words. Thank God. The BS that this team has put us through over the last three weeks, I don't think anyone deserves a victory more than Bengals fans. I mean, the way we've lost the last three games, two against division rivals, one against a team we've chased in the AFC playoff standings, I've always said I don't care how. The fact that we got it done, thank God. That's all I got to say right now. Thank God. But thank you guys for clicking on the video. Let's dive into the recap. It's Bengals versus Cowboys. Bengals 27, Cowboys 20. Respect to the Cowboys. Bengals get their first win over the Cowboys since 2004. Congrats on that to the Bengals. And, uh, man, we just needed that win. But let's dive in. First off, I got to give so much credit to Uno, who is coming for that Triple Crown. I kid you not. He passed a 5,000 career receiving yards. He outshined C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb had a good game. Like, he had a couple good plays, splash plays here and there. But Uno, Jamar Chase was just consistent throughout the whole game. He promised a kid who had leukemia, I'm going to do a dance for you when he gets a touchdown. What do you know? First, first drive of the game, or second drive of the game, I apologize. He gets a touchdown, does a little dance. So much love to Uno, man. He His price tag is going up. Bengals have no choice. I don't care what you got to do. Pay this man what he wants. He has earned it. No doubt. And also, got to give a lot of credit to my quarterback, Joe Burrow. I didn't think he had the greatest game in the world. I didn't. But with the heavy pressure that he had, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give two of those sacks on him a little bit. Just because I feel like he could have either got the ball out or released it a little bit quicker just because he knew the blitz was coming. Um, but, you know, you got Micah Parsons on the D-line, and I thought Mims actually did a good job of holding his own against him. I mean, there's a couple holding plays that, you know, Cody Ford had to hold him a couple times. Um, Amarius Mims also had a holding call on him, but that's something that you just have to get accustomed to when you're going against Micah Parsons, man. So I thought overall the Bengals actually did a solid job of um, just keeping him in check to a little bit, but Joe did have a little bit of a high throw against you know, in the third quarter, I think that was a little bit of a, that was a bad pass. Don't get me wrong, but I still think, you know, you give him a lot of credit. You know, he just fought and, you know, he's a, he's a fighter, man. He is a fighter. He went 33 or 44, 322, three touchdowns. Jamar Chase was even better, but Joe Burrow, you cannot discredit this man. He, he would be the MVP favorite. I don't care what any of you guys say. He would be the MVP favorite if, the Bengals' record was reversed. If McPherson makes two more kicks, the Bengals are possibly two games above instead of, uh, you know, five, three games under. You never know. Because if McPherson makes the kick, who knows? Like, maybe they could be, you know, tied for second possibly in the AFC North. You don't know. Or if the refs, you know, call a two-point conversion, um you know, face mask against the Ravens. Like, they could have easily won that game as well. You just don't know. But we are here we are, third place, two games ahead of the Cleveland Browns. I mean, I'll take it, but... And speaking of these refs, by the way, you missed another face mask on this man. So shame on you. Shame on the entire league. No one deserves more scrutiny than the NFL. When it comes to sports league, no one deserves more criticism than NFL officiating. This is ridiculous. I thought MLB umpires were bad. NFL refs are even worse. So, so just... Screw them. And also on that Chase Brown touchdown, I can't believe the ref, just because he got hit by Chase Brown, he decided, oh, let's just call it out of bounds. He ruined a perfectly good celebration by Chase Brown. Shame on the NFL. Shame on the refs again. But much respect to my boy Joe. Much respect to Uno. This two, These two are going to be deadly for Cincinnati for years to come. And Chase Brown, man, I got to give a shout out to you. I mean... My biggest takeaway is we need to still clean up a little bit of blown coverages and missed tackles, but I thought the defense got some, you know, key stops on, you know, on fourth down to steal the win, obviously, but also just, you know, in general, I mean, they brought the blitz on Cooper Rush and huge shout out to my man, Chase Brown. He had a great game today. I didn't include that in here because I wanted to focus on just like the, the big, big, big names. And I thought that just the big takeaway for me was the defense looked a lot better. And granted, the Cowboys offense is not very good, but I will take it, you know, I, I, I will take it. Maybe this is a game of life for the defense. Not saying they're any better than they, you know, came into this game, but maybe it's just a sense of life. Regardless, these are professionals. You need to force these guys into mistakes. Otherwise, you're just not going to beat them. 
and that punt recovery. <laughs> I mean, I got I'll get into that in a minute, but that was just the most that was a, the the most lucky break that I, we've ever seen, man. Um, it was just a good team win overall, man. And um, you know, I just have to give props to you know Zach, even Lou, man. He dialed up some blitzes. You know, Geno Stone, a pick today and a blitz tackle for a loss, a, a sack on Cooper Rush. Big props to Geno Stone, man. He's had a rough year. He's like the second worst graded safety, man. He's had a pretty poor year, but man, maybe the, again, this could be a life changer for like you know him. Hopefully, I'm, I'm you can only hope as a Bengals fan, as someone who's you know ha had to deal with a lot of BS this year with this team. It's just a breath of fresh life to see the guys that we were really criticizing, and I still think this defense needs work. I still think some guys need to go, but man, you just take it at this point, won't you? Uh, so I gotta say though, the gods actually blessed us today. The football gods really looked down on Cincinnati today. I mean, Nick Vigil, a former Bengal, blocks the punt. Amani Oroyowaye, I can't even pronounce the guy's name, but he touches the ball after the block. I don't know what he was thinking, <laughs> but Najong made a, made the he made the recovery, and I was at first. I, obviously, you don't process it at the time, but it's like okay, if he blocks it and the Cowboys guy touches it, won't that just mean the Cowboys retain possession at the fifty? No, but it, it was like a receiving, you know, it was like a receiving from the Cowboys, and then the Bengals recovered. So it was absolute chaos, as I wrote. But we freaking needed it. We needed it. We needed it. We needed it. It worked in our favor. And that's just something that you just don't see when it comes to Cincinnati Bengals football nowadays. Even when they're good. I mean, you just don't see it. And as Joe Burrow said to Lisa Salters after the game, man, we freaking needed a break. We haven't gotten many this year, and we're not going to get any anytime soon. This is one that we have to hold on to. When we look back on this year, uh, you know, when we're on the couch in the postseason, as much as I hate to say it, <laughs> this is a game where we'll say, oh my God, we finally caught a break so gotta give a lot of credit man to uh, the defense and just the football gods most importantly man because man it's just like a look we're not like i i still obviously our playoff chances are not high at all you know i i looked it up i don't remember exactly what it is but you just have to take a win right now like that's just it you know we're, we're in kind of as i view it we're kind of in a tank dilemma when it comes to having with joe burrow jamar chase like we're not gonna tank under these guys and it's just like, I just don't feel right rooting for them to lose these games. I mean, the only time I can remember ever rooting against the Cincinnati Bengals was when they played the Miami Dolphins in 2019. I mean, that game was fun to watch, but we obviously didn't want to lose on Burrow. So thank you, God, so much for this. Uh, it worked in our favor. And, um, you know, at, at this point, guys, enjoy the freaking win. The playoff home, again, at 2%, I don't give a shit. Sorry for my language, but focus on building momentum for next year, the future, whatever. You know, next up, we got an, a former AFC Central rival, the Tennessee Titans, former division rival. I just want a freaking win. You know, you, you got the Titans and you got the Browns. Win both those games, please. Go into, go into like, you know, that um, Denver game feeling a little bit better. You know, I, I, I don't anticipate us making the playoffs. I don't think we even have a, like, I think we have like a very low chance. We need so many things to go in our favor. You can hope, have the smidge of hope that you do have, but, like, man, right now you just got to take a win. As, as sad as that may sound for a team with Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, and, you know, all the talent that we have, you just got to take a win. This is a game that we just wanted to win badly, and we did. So, enjoy the win, guys. And let's get ready for Tennessee next week, but enjoy the freaking win. Victory Monday. Ohio Game Talks checking out. You guys have a great one. Hootay!